The referee anticipates with an acceleration and identifies a foul made by defender. He awards a direct free kick and cautions the player for stopping a promising attack. VAR checks the incident and intervenes incorrectly for a possible red card for denying an obvious goal-scoring opportunity. To award a red card, a referee should take in account all the criteria that demonstrate a denial of an obvious goal-scoring opportunity and not just a possible opportunity of scoring a goal. The attacker has not an obvious opportunity for a full control of the ball. The ball is not on the ground. The ball is bouncing from the ground and needs to be controlled on the air. The conditions to control the ball with the body, the position of the body in relation to the ball, and the direction of the ball are not ideal. Therefore, it is not clear and obvious that the attacker without being fouled could have the full control right after. The referee must take a decision under pressure. He is watching on the camera views provided on the screen, based mostly on the view that the defender is closer to the goal line in relation to his opponents and decides to change his opinion in a doubtful situation as recommended by VAR for a red card. In this borderline situation, CCA supports the initial decision by the referee for a direct free kick and a yellow card, which has been incorrectly changed by a VAR call for an on-field review. The decision of the referee was not clearly an obvious wrong for VAR intervention according to the protocol. The defender tries to play the ball far away to the other half of the field. The attacker blocks the ball with his foot and the ball goes to the direction of the opposing penalty area. The attacker accelerates and runs faster to get the ball first, but he is fouled by the defender. The referee follows the counter attack, whistles a direct free kick and shows the yellow card to the defender for stopping a promising attack. VAR checks the incident and watches every camera view which provides the criteria for a possible denial of a goal-scoring opportunity. The ball has the appropriate speed for the attacker and is rolling on the ground. The attacker moves closer to the ball and without being fouled could have the full control of the ball. VAR takes in account the position of the goalkeeper out of his goalpost the position of no other defender to challenge for the ball, and the position of the attacker who, without being fouled, will have an obvious goal-scoring opportunity, and asks the referee for a non-field review. The referee, after watching the monitor, takes in consideration all the mentioned criteria and correctly decides to change his initial decision. He cancels the yellow card and shows the red card to the defender. Important consideration here is the appropriate speed of the ball to be controlled on the ground by the attacker who could enter the penalty area in one-to-one case with the goalkeeper.